Hi Gemini, welcome to your April 2022 Love and General Reading. I'm Gemstone Tarot and you are Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers. Everybody's welcome. My two cats are here. Both of them are there. Both washing ferociously. I know. Mother and daughter. Although you'd never know that sometimes the way they go after each other. Okay, what do we need to know for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Gemini. Ooh. Major Arcana Central. Wowzers. Okay, it's going to be a big reading. On my dailies, I like to call this spiritual big jobs, okay? Because you have a lot of major arcana. A lot, a lot. What do we... Oh, hello. What do we need to know for my lovely Geminis? Gemini, oof. Cripes. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Oh, God, more major arcana. More major... Gemini? This is an unusual reading, okay? I'm just going to get that straight out there. This is an unusual reading. Yeah, I'll bet. Right, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards on the table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them are major arcanas. Haven't seen a reading like this in a really long time. And also, I'll be honest with you, I got the feeling before I started your reading, I really had to use my Morgan Greer Vintage deck. It's a very powerful deck. Um, and I don't normally use it. I sometimes use it for the extended reading, but I don't always use it for the YouTube reading. But I really felt like we had to. So it was obviously calling out, going, Gemini, come on over here, quick. The water's lovely. Okay. Bit, I don't know what to say. It's just like an overwhelm. Um, the lovers. This is your card for a start. If you're a Gemini, you are represented by the lovers. So that's good in a reading. I love it when a star sign gets their own card. And to get it as the overall energy card, and for it to be the lovers as well, you know, it's a pretty sassy kind of a card. It's all in keeping. I like that. On the other side, <laughs> you get the death card. And I don't see how we could have got anything else with the amount of destiny cards you got and the amount of major arcana you got. I was thinking your life is about to change a lot. You know, this is obviously when you look back on April and we do have a partial solar eclipse, I think at the end of the month. So it, there is like some astrology to it as well. It's not just you, but even so, just have a quick look. New moon, partial solar eclipse, 30th of April in Taurus. Okay. So there is something in that as well. But for you, April's a game changer. and We're only like a quarter of the way through the year. And maybe even if you don't feel it at the time, when you look back, you'll be like, yes, I remember Gemstone Tarot. She's a bit bonkers, had the two cats, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, so we got the lovers and the death card. It's like an episode of James Bond. You know, when they do like the tarot reader on the film and they always draw the lovers and then they're like, hmm, the lovers. I was going to say, they always draw the lovers, the hanged man, the death card. The lovers, the hanged man, the death card. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> it's your life. Okay, so when we get the lovers, it used to be called the choice back in the day before it was the lovers. Obviously, it's got the whole kind of sexy element to it, especially in this one, you know, the getting it on in a bush. Um, it's got a whole kind of joy of sex vibe as well that I really quite like about it. Um, I'm sure you'll appreciate that. Lovers is a choice, sometimes, most often, actually, in love, you know, about relationships, about the people that you love. 
about a lover, about a significant person. And sometimes it's a conscious choice that you know you have to make. And sometimes it's life kind of opening up two different ways to go. And kind of with all this major arcana, pushing you into one way or another. And what it's saying to you is to take one route is to reject the other. You can't have it both ways. Now with the lovers, there is a tendency to want to have it both ways. And with being a Gemini, a dualistic sign like us Pisceans, there's an ability to be able to have things that are dual, you know, like very often you find Geminis have multiple jobs or lots of part-time jobs or two jobs, a day job and a night job or whatever it is. You can handle a lot of information at once, you know, you have a lot of different friends normally um, and get different things from different people. But what the lovers is asking you to do here, Gemini, which is harder that for you than it is for some, is to take one route and stick to it. In terms of relationship, this may be the universe saying you either need to stick or twist now, and you may have been on the fence. Or a relationship may have been on the fence. And the universe is thinking, you're not staying on this fence, I want you to jump one way or the other, but you must jump, you know? Now, with that death card, Scorpio energy, so you could be dealing with um, a Scorpio, with that death card, it's change that is absolutely, I want to say irreversible. It's a big word to use, isn't it? But I think I do mean it. It's a change that's beyond your control. It's beyond your knowledge and beyond your scope. But nevertheless, it's very beneficial. It's changing your life almost from the top down and the bottom up. You know, scorpionic energy, for me, it's the energy of the well. You know, you get your, your bucket, the bucket goes down into the well. It goes to the bottom of the well and it plums the depths. And emotionally, it feels like that's what you're going to do. And I mean it in a good way. I know it doesn't sound good. It's like, so now she's saying, I'm going to get a bucket and go to some smelly well and throw my bucket down the well. You're like, yeah, that's about it. But in a good way, okay? So something that you've been maybe worried about for a while or finding difficult for a while or, you know, not being able to make a decision about for a while, you do, you know. And this can also go for, for some of you, I think you have a heart to heart with somebody. There's no absolute card that points to it apart from the lovers because obviously, apart from, you know, getting down and everything, they are talking too, they are communicating. There is a conversation, a heart to heart. I don't know what you would call it, you know, a conflab, a meeting, a liaison, you know, are we going to call it a liaison? I'd like to call it a liaison. Tell me in the comment section, is it a liaison? Sorry, I can't come this evening. I have a prior liaison. But you'll be having a chit chat, you'll be having a heart to heart, you know, a talk, whatever you want to call it. And that might not have happened before in the way that it's going to happen now. Okay. Death card, absolute change. Like I said, you're going to look back on this and think things haven't really been the same since April. Okay. Damn you, gemstone tarot. Okay. Judgment. I know, it's weird, isn't it? There's such a lot of destiny cards. Three figures in judgment, as there always is, the past, the present, and the future. And there is some kind of call to arms, almost. There's a call to the past, to the present, to the future. The universe is, this may be somebody that you have been on and off with or that has been something to do with the past something like a thread that goes back to the past could even be an ex i know the dreaded ex or somebody where it didn't quite take off or it's been a situation ship i'm getting all kinds of stuff like that it feels like 
you're revisiting something about it that you perhaps wanted to visit before, but now you really do. I hope that makes sense. Throwing a bit of a kind of, I don't even know which analogy to use, a cog in the wheel, no, a fly in the ointment, there you go. That hanged man is a pause, a suspension, a bit of a, it's a bit of a problem, it's not a massive problem, but it, I'm just going to have a look here because do you know what vibe I'm really getting? I'm getting a real Mercury retrograde vibe, but I'm pretty sure that Mercury is not retrograde. Oh, here we go. It goes retrograde on May the 10th, but it usually starts to happen a couple of weeks before. So just, just around the time of the eclipse on the 30th of April, expect to start some retrograde vibes, okay? X is coming back in from the woodwork, crawling out of the woodwork, coming out the wardrobe, whatever you want to call it, you know? It depends on the X, doesn't it, really, on whether they crawl or run or come out of the, the toilet or the wardrobe, you know? But it's a blast from the past, but it's also karma. Judgment is karma. So something about the karma of a relationship that you're having changes. And initially, I think it's a difficult change. And then I think it opens things up in a way that they perhaps should have been opened up before, but it never happened for whatever reason, okay? Above judgment, or why don't I show you the cards actually? I know I've got a massive stripe of sunshine, but we can work something out. Let's just go down, as the actress said to the bishop, and have a look. Okay. Well, that's good, because all you can see is like the microphone and everything. No, that's really iffy, isn't it? Uh, okay. One moment, got my hot water bottle here, even though it's really sunny. I'm going to do that better it's deeply technical <laughs> deeply technical excellent that's how we like to roll at gemstone tarot because actually you know between you and me and the bedpost I don't know how to work my camera at all apart from what I'm doing now so it's all about the curtains <laughs> after that okay now we've adjusted the curtains here we are so there you are with your lovers and your death card, your James Bond cards. You've got your hanged man, which says things have been unexplored for too long. The universe says there's a reason why the lid never came off this before, because either you weren't ready, they weren't ready, it wasn't ready, the universe wasn't ready, somebody wasn't ready, so it didn't happen. But now we are ready and we're ready with bells on because we've got that death card, okay? Above judgment, we've got the world. I mean, how many more meaningful cards would you like? Death, judgment, and the world. Can you see this little triangle of cards here? They're what I call destiny cards, uh, along with temperance up here, which is the other one you've got. I know, cripes. Um, when you get the world, there is a cycle here going on. You have the image of Ouroboros, the snake that eats its own head. It's like its tail eats the head, the head eats the tail. In my end is my beginning. A situation here, I feel, has never ended. So this could be someone you can't really live without. It can be a lover. It can be someone where it's a bit kind of in between or a bit situation -y or a bit we don't know if it's like for real or not, you know, that feeling or someone you've had a few dates with. It just has that feel about it. But you're kind of ending that cycle and starting a cycle of deep change. It is deep change to the relationship. A relationship might change course um, maybe quite suddenly around the time of that eclipse on the 30th towards the end of April, okay? 
it's lively. This is a very lively reading. I get the feeling, I get the feeling you're going to have some admirers in some way or other people coming in. So this could be exes coming in even though you've met somebody or more than one ex coming in. It feels like flow and it feels like choice. But a principal relationship here is undergoing this radical change from stuck with the hanged man or just fallow, you know, not very dynamic, not particularly changey into something much deeper. And if it's not going to do that, you're going to leave. Yeah, I mean, I might as well just come straight out with that because it's come to me. Lovers, remember, it's like a crossroads. It can literally be just two paths, um, like Robert Frost, the road not taken. Or it can be like four, that way, that way, that way, and that way, a crossroads. But it doesn't really matter. Either way, you can only choose one of them. And it feels like for some of you, it's a shape up or ship out situation. Death card won't let things be the same, even if you want them to be, even if you love them to be and you will them to be, can't we go back to how it was? No, no you can't. The universe doesn't want to know that. It's like, nope, things have changed. You know, it's get off the pot time. Get off the pot. So, and there will be an extended reading, by the way, I forgot to say, and the link will be in the description box. I know, as if it isn't big enough in the one we've already got. There is a time for, and I do think the first couple of weeks of April remain in the hanged man energy. When you're in that energy, it's important to do temperance and to play with your energies that you have rather than try and push it one way or the other, okay? You're observing, you're playing with the energies, you're wondering. It's, it's a good vibe. And what are you wondering about? The Hierophant, okay? Look at this major arcana. The lovers, the Hierophant, temperance, hanged man, the world, death card, judgment. I mean, you're practically getting the major arcana wheel, you know? It's a most powerful reading I've done in quite a long time for anybody, this. You don't normally get them like this. So take note, Gemini, okay? Take note. The Hierophant can be about marriage. It can be about commitment, whatever that means for you. Um, we've got your two cross keys at the bottom. It can be the high priest, the guru, the knowledge. I do feel, also it can be some really long rubber gloves for cleaning the toilet. <laughs> I always think that when I see it, I'm like, I've got this, just a minute Marjorie. I don't know why it's Marjorie, I'm going down with the bog brush. Don't call me the Hierophant for nothing. Um, but apart from that, when he's not doing the bog with that, with his bog cleaner there, he's like, yes, nothing gets past this bad boy. He's talking about commitment of the lovers. Will the lovers commit? That is your reading. Will the lovers commit? Will you want to? Will they want to? This becomes very real as we get towards the end of the month. It's my end of the month vibe. As we get towards the end of the month, it becomes a bit make or breaky because we have the 10 of wands. You know, that's not to be sniffed at either to get the 10 of wands. It's a big deal getting the Ten of Wands. It's a whole kind of, you know, that you're not willing to hold on to the burden of whatever it is anymore. The burden of not knowing, the burden of making a decision, whatever it is, you're not willing to keep going with that, okay? Now, very nicely, actually, in the middle here, we end up with this Ten of, with the Ten, we don't have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. So if you look here, you've got the Ace of Pentacles, which is a very solid start. It's like a new beginning, but it's based on something so very real, okay? And with it, we've got this portal here where you go through the portal into something, 
that's kind of futuristic but also realistic at the same time, okay? This relationship has a very good chance if you can have the heart to heart and be very honest with each other and very upfront. And also three of pentacles, if you could share with each other. Because this hanged man, I feel, has been slightly down, just getting my romance angel oracle cards, has been slightly down to a lack of communication or miscommunication or a lack of proximity. Maybe you don't live in the same place. You know, maybe you're online. I don't know. Okay. Let us do some Romance Angel Oracle cards. Let's do it. I have a feeling we're going to be quite challenged by these for some reason. What do we need to know, lovely Romance Angel Oracle cards? Not quite. Yes. Yeah, see, I told you we were going to be challenged by these. Yes, God, are we challenged by these? How weird is that? Okay, let's do it. Yes, we're going to do five, and it's not you. It's the bottom one. Okay. Right. I'm going to, well, no, we could probably, can we get down on there? We can. We can get down on it, right, okay. Let's deal with, think about the lovers, okay? When you've got two roads going in different directions and I'm, oops, God, always get the wrong camera. Think about the chariot as well, because the chariot is someone driving a chariot and two horses, horses trying to go in different directions. So you could be dealing with a Cancerian or have your moon or rising or Venus in Cancer, okay, it's important. You've got codependency and unrequited love. These are dissatisfied feelings, okay? It's feelings, it's this. It's the Ten of Wands. A feeling of this should be other than it is. This should be more than it is. We should be further on than this. Um, you don't love me enough. I feel addicted to you, I feel addicted to the not knowing, but I want to know. It's all of these rather kind of difficult feelings. And then here, we let go of control issues. I know, it's like, really? Have you, have you met me? Let go of control issues, allow a situation to unfold naturally, okay? Then here, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. You have that lover's card. You have all of it going on. There is the potential for this to stick or twist or to go bust. It's one or the other. I mean, it's like, are we going to do this thing or am I going to drop these ones? And that's you in control, actually. You're in the driver's seat. Maybe you don't want to be in the driver's seat, but it seems to be where you need to be. And then the universe says, it's safe for you to love, Gemini. It's safe for you to love, okay? Cripes. Let's have, I want to do an animal spirit card for you. In the extended reading, I'm going to look at your scenarios. I'm going to look at the stick or twist. I'm going to look at what may be behind this. How do they feel about you? Which is what we always do in the extended but also I'm going to unpack the lovers. What's going on with this person? You know, is there absence from this person? Is there commitment from this person? Is it worth it? What's the quality of the relationship? We're going to look at all of that. Okay. Yes, we are. Aren't we girls? Yes. Okay. Animal spirit card for Gemini. It is this one. I love that for you. Squirrel spirit. Believe in yourself. I'm going to take one for your person. I don't normally do that in the YouTube reading. I normally do more of that in the extended. Squirrel spirit. Believe in yourself and believe in the nuts that you've stored. Okay. All jokes aside, seriously. Nuggets of wisdom almost. 
Ha! That's your person. Took one for your person and they get turtle spirit. Slow and steady wins the race. You're like, I'm about to kill them at this time. Could they be any slower? Slow and steady wins the race. They're not, they're probably not a Gemini, actually, because they're not as fast as you is what I'm getting. And I don't mean that in a bad way because I'm a mutable sign too. I know what we're like. It's like, okay, I've ticked that off. I know this. Now I'm on to the next and the next and the next. I know this. I know that. I'm building on the knowledge. You're dealing with someone who is, takes things kind of real slow. They do. And that may be very frustrating. Let's have some healing with the angels action. Healing with the angels. <laughs> the bowling ball. I always think she's about to like strike. Okay. Abundance. You're not really going to feel like this straight away, but honestly, in the second half of April, it opens up for you in terms of abundance, okay? You're probably going to feel... There's an abundance of opportunity here, and you're going to feel like there isn't, is the only way that I can put it. Um, balance. The balance is between the being pulled in two different directions. You are going to be trying to ride two horses with one arse. You are going to be having that feeling about it. And ultimately, of course, you can't. But you will for a while. You will sit on that fence for a while. Both of you will. And then you won't be able to. OK, and that's where we're looking into divine guidance. OK, you will be guided. When you get divine guidance, a bit like you can see on the card, there will be signs, there will be symbols. Um, it could come in the form of dreams. I think a lot of it will come in the form of dreams. So make sure when you wake up, you either do like a voice memo or you put it on your phone or good old school pen and paper, you know what I mean? Or chalk on a board or whatever you want to do make sure you record it, write it down, write down your dream because I don't know about you but I forget mine about five minutes after I wake up and I think it's going to be really important. There may be messages from this person, messages from the universe, just divine guidance on which way to go about it, okay? Oh, I love this for you. Yep, I want a starseed oracle. I never normally do these in the YouTube either. Gemini, you deserve a starseed oracle because you've got eight gazillion major arcana going on. What do we need to know for lovely Gemini? Oh, wow. That's so nice. Can you see that? You are not alone. Oh, it feels really powerful, actually. Looks like a cosmic washing machine, but apart from that... <laughs> have you sorted the colours? You are not alone. Isolation, physical connection, community. Some of you, I think, may have been feeling quite alone in this relationship or with this person like you are with them and alone at the same time or you feel like you should feel together but you feel quite alone I hope that makes sense now that you've got that ace of pentacles and you've got the ten of wands it definitely seems like you drop you drop out of feeling lonely but feeling caught, okay? And instead, you start to function in the real world with this person and the real truth of things. And that's why, with the codependency card, you may have felt codependent because you weren't getting enough information from this person. 
but the universe isn't going to let that continue the universe really opens that up but just remember that you have that past influence with the judgment card that feeling of i've been here before this has happened before or you are from my past you know i know you i know you it's that feeling Gemini, cripes. Okay, I'm going to go do the extended reading. We're going to have a good old look at the lovers. What's holding it back? The hanged man. Uh, what's the quality of the relationship? How do they feel and what are they up to? And the link is below in the description box. I will see you on the other side. Namaste.